What's going on folks? It's been a little while since you've seen us. We're back up here in northern Wisconsin doing a little early ice fishing. Last time they seen us, Dan was out chasing gobblers around. Yeah. So we got a, I don't know, what do you say, three, three four inches? inches of ice. Locked up last week up here in northern Wisconsin. We're on a smaller inland lake. Looking for crappies and walleyes were sticking to shallow weed beds. We started Plus. earlier out this morning on a little uh, smaller acre private lake. Pulled a few pike out. Nothing real big, couple little hammer handles. Gill and a crappie. Yeah, gill and a crappie. And then we, we came and checked the ice out here. We were pretty happy with it, so we packed everything up and came and got set up. We're kind of working on finishing setting everything up. We had a couple flags, had one nice crappie. I don't know what you think that is. 10 inch. 10, ten, ten inch. Probably 10 inch. And then another Good smaller eater. pike. Basically, but. we're just setting up on a weed edge. Um, as close to the weed edge as we can. A lot of smaller panfish in there. The wallies are hopefully going to come up and feed on the smaller panfish and whatnot. This, Crappies as well. This lake has a, a ton of smaller pike that like to eat everything that moves. So we'll see what happens. Start through them little guys and see what happens. Be able to see them mm -hmm. and see the line right there. I can't tell what it is. I don't know, but it's some shoulders where it wants to. Larger. Is it? Yeah. A little gator. You want this thing? No. Too small. First ice action, baby. Crappy boys. Yep. As we said earlier, there's a lot of pike in here. Dan just caught one, but I'm gonna show you what, what we're using. Just basically a, I don't know, light, ultra light rod, smaller reel, braid to with a little mono or fluorocarbon leader. Sinker about, I don't know, eight, ten inches up. Small single hook and just a small minnow, crappie minnow. And basically, you use an electronic live scope or Garmin live scope or mark them. <clears throat> Set our depth here.
can you see yourself on there? Like setting it up about a foot. I was going to say 10 inches or something. 10 inches to a foot above bottom. You can see on the Garmin live scope, you can see that it's kind of right in between two patches of weeds. Trying to get as close as we can into the weeds without getting tangled up in them and whatnot. You just hook the line on this bar here and put the flag on it. You can move that rubber. Move this rubber. This rubber O-ring adjusts your sensitivity, but you just leave your bail open and when the line, when you take the line, that flips up and your flag will go up. Finicky foolers, we love them. Put this thin ice and you want to try to be as quiet as you can walking up to the hole, especially if you're fishing shallow water. Wait, can you pass? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the half of is. These crappies are just cruising these weed edges. Look at the bucket moth on that thing. Just freaking gorgeous. Fish are hungry. Ice is hard. Let's get after it. Catching all species today. You got a nice clump of weeds. <laughs>